dirt. It gets everywhere, it covers everything, and it's, well, dirty. But dirt is just misplaced soil, and soil is the last thing we want to get rid of. Earth wouldn't be Earth without soil. It's an aptly named planet. We're completely dependent on it, and I think that sometimes people forget about the importance of soil. It's just this brown thing that you step on and makes your shoes dirty, and that's about it. But without soil, we would not have life on Earth, and it's that simple. So simple that we often forget about the incredible things soil provides, like the planet's food. Carnivore, herbivore, or omnivore, soil grows or feeds our options, whatever box you check. Soil also provides the plant and animal fibers we use every day, from cotton to construction materials to leather. And on a more basic level, almost every step you take, whether it's in the bathroom, on the ball field, or on a bridge, soil supports you. Soil is the skin of the earth. It's the living skin of the earth. Some of the things soil does, we just sort of take for granted, like decomposition. It's a process that just happens. Things just rot. Well, that's actually not a passive process. It's an active process. It's happening in the soil, and it's taking place through the effort of millions and millions of species. In every spoonful of soil, there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of microbes actively working. Although invisible to the naked eye, we can appreciate their microscopic world through their work. Much of the biodiversity that we see on the macro scale, mammals and birds and reptiles, things that we can easily recognize, much of it is actually dependent on microorganisms that are living in the soil. There are very, very, very small food webs that start with bacteria, and the bacteria is eaten by an amoeba, an amoeba is eaten by a nematode worm, a nematode worm is eaten by a springtail, springtail is eaten by a millipede, a millipede can be eaten by a bird. Suddenly, we're into the macro scale. Which includes us. Yet it's these hardworking microorganisms that help soil with its other crucial tasks, like filtering and holding our water, cleaning our air by absorbing gases, recycling nutrients through decomposition so living things can use them over and over again. So basically keeping the world going. Human civilization is actually tied up with the health of the soil. Mm -hmm. So for example, in places where there's been too much plowing and overuse of the soil or dumping of pollutants, that can degrade the health of the soil and that can have big consequences for people. The Dust Bowl of the 1930s, decades of overplowing and other poor farming practices exposed too much soil. Common windstorms in the Midwest quickly became dust storms so severe that millions of acres of fertile soil were lost and hundreds of thousands of people were forced to move. In many cases, the farmland that we are using is from remnant soils that took millennia to develop. The soil is so complex on such a fine scale that it would be nearly impossible in order to make soil from scratch in a lab. You just couldn't do it. So what can we do to help soil be its best? It is very, very difficult to get soils back once you've lost it. So it's best to start from the beginning and prevent the soils from degrading in the first place. Setting aside protected areas is one way to protect soil. You can also protect the value that soil provides in farmland by having good farm practices. Not a farmer? Don't worry. You can still get your hands on some soil. Whether you're making sandcastles or digging for earthworms, you're playing with soil. It's a lot of fun to play in the dirt. There are a lot of people that like to do pottery. That's clay, and clay is soil. There's a lot of cool things about soil. Soils are this incredible living blanket over the surface of the earth that provides so many of the important values that we get from nature. It's just a fundamental part of life on earth. Best of all, nature does it free of charge. So free, it's uh, dirt cheap. Nature works hard. And that's why we work hard for nature.